welcome back to my channel here we are going to uh, be solving this problem and as we are told here that we convert the orthographic views in figure 4.2 into isometric block using a as the lowest point this is a uh, nickel question uh, for this uh, here um, so we are converting this into isometric as we have that this is the front elevation this is the plan and this is the end elevation so this is point a and then we have that the distance from year to year is 100 and then we have that distance from year to year is 60 in the plan the thickness of this is 10 and also the distance from uh, from um, so as we have that distance from year so from year to year uh, okay from year to year is 10 from year to year is 10 so we have that and then um, so we have this distance from year to year to be 10 millimeters and looking at this uh, rectangular hole that we have in the plan so the uh, width, the width is also 10 the width is 10 then coming to the front elevation the height from year to year is 80 then we have that for this uh, square hole uh, we have it to be uh, 30 millimeters is 30 millimeters and then we also have the, this 30 millimeters and this time from year to year is 20 so for this hole in the plan okay so then we have this time from year to year in the front elevation to be 10 millimeters so we are going to put all this together make use of dimensions for us to produce the asymmetric view of this object let's go and see how this can be done but the first thing that i'm going to do is to produce this shape so this time from year to year is 60 millimeters as we have here in the plan from year to year 60 millimeters and from year to year is 80 millimeters this is 10 so we are first first of all produce this l shape that is what i am going to do okay so let's go and work it out so the first thing that we need to do here is to draw a horizontal line so i will draw a horizontal line here a short horizontal line then with my 30 degree set square with my 30 degree set square so i want to make use of this set square so i'm going to draw a line uh, in this direction i will draw a line in this direction so like this it goes in this direction okay then i'm going to draw a short vertical line at this point but first of all i need to indicate the lowest point very very important so lowest point a is here so we need to indicate that that is going to be uh, awarded mark so then i'm going to take a measurement of 60 millimeters from this end i will take 60 millimeters from this end so this is 60 uh, millimeters here this is 60 millimeters so this is 60 uh, millimeters here okay all right so we have 60 millimeters here then i will take 10 millimeters at this point from point a up 10 millimeters this is 10 millimeters so at this point i'm going to draw a vertical line so here i will draw a vertical line for this okay so on this vertical line i'll take a measurement of 80 millimeters this is 80 millimeters here so i'm going to draw this line in this direction so i'll draw this line in this direction like this okay so then on this line i will take 10 from this point so this is um so taking 10 millimeters this is 10 millimeters here this is 10 millimeters so i'm going to uh, drop a vertical line from this point so drop a vertical line so from this point so comes like this then this thing that we have taken here so we join them together so i need to bring this line a little bit down more okay so all right so then so i'm going to so draw this line so to me this line all right so we have produced that l shape that we have and this is the left end elevation if you don't know so the next thing that we are going to do is that from this point so we are going to so from this point a here so we are going to draw a line in this direction so we draw a line in this direction okay also from this point we also draw a line 
in this direction then come it to this point here so we draw a line okay so we draw a line in this direction okay so then we come to this point so we also draw a line so drawing a line in this direction so and then coming to this point we draw a line in this direction all right so then the next thing that we are going to do um then we are going to take a measurement of 100 millimeters from this point 100 millimeters so we take 100 millimeter this is 100 so then with our cell square so we are going to transfer so this point so here we draw a vertical line okay so to make this line here then we set it in this direction so it goes in this direction like this to meet this line then here we draw a vertical line at this point um, so I need to do something here because this paper is not going to be enough so I need to do something okay so I need to transfer this point to transfer it here alright so I'm going to so transfer this point here so I'll transfer this point so for it to meet this uh, line from this point okay so we are done with that so the next thing that we are going to do is to put so we have a web here and we also have a web here. that this is what we how we see it in the uh in the end elevation we see it like this in the end elevation so we have a web here a web here. so let's put the web so as we have that distance from here to here is what is 10 so we take a measurement of 10 millimeters from here okay so before we begin to draw the web and also we take a measurement of 10 millimeters from here down before we produce the web so let me show you what i mean by that so from this point here we are taking 10 millimeters we are taking 10 millimeters here okay so then we draw so this line from this point okay so i'll just take it a bit like this and also take it a bit like this so then coming up here i will take 10 millimeters down so this is 10 millimeters so i will draw this from this point so we draw from this point so we also draw it just to make it short like this and we also do the same thing here all right so then the next thing i'm going to do is that i will take a measurement of 10 millimeters from this point the thickness of the web is 10 so here we have 10 millimeters okay so i will also take 10 millimeters from this point so in here 10 millimeters so coming up here we take 10 from this point 10 millimeters and then here also we take 10 millimeters in so because the reason why we are taking this measurement down here and here is that the line that we want to draw is a non-isometric line so we cannot use our 30 degrees s square to produce it okay so we just need to take that measurement and then so we join together so i'm going to do that to make it a thick line at once so we draw it as a thick line from here to here and then so we also draw it from here as a thick line so this is it then i will also come here and do the same thing so draw it as a thick line here and then i will draw it as a thick line here Okay, so we have that so then I need to drop a vertical line from this point drop a vertical line so from this point we are going to see this line that I want to draw so we we'll draw it down to meet this line okay so then I'm going to join this together with this so join them together like this from here to here so it's a must that you must draw this vertical line and this okay so now the next thing that we are going to do is to put the hole that we have here so this hole that we have here and also this square hole uh, this is rectangular or this is square hole and to do that at that place in the center and then we have that distance from here to here is what is 10 so first of all let's get the center so for the center so we divide 100 by 2 
so that will give us 50 millimeters each so this is 50 okay so i need to so transfer this point so i'll transfer this point i'll transfer it to uh, back one like this then i will take it up so take it up so like this all right so then the next thing i'm going to do is that um so we have that from here to here okay from here to here is 10 so i will take 10 and take 10 up so i will take a measurement of 10 millimeters up i'm looking at this line. i see this line is not it's not a vertical line but i can see it that's not a vertical line sorry for that so um I think the way I position it was the T square. So let's, let's go. We need to correct it. If not, the work will not be okay. So I need to come down here and take 10 millimeters. So 10 millimeters up. Is it 10 millimeters? I'm looking at this thing. Uh, this dimensioning. Um, so from year to year, so from year to year is ten. Year to year is ten. Year to year. Um. Okay. If this is ten, and ten up, then we have what we have. This to be twenty. Sorry, to be thirty. So that will be what? That will be fifty. So that's fifty. That means from year to year is fifteen. It is fifteen. So I have to take a measurement of 15 so millimeters. So we have 15 millimeters here. So this is 15 millimeters. 15 millimeters. So I'm going to so draw a line. So I'll draw a line. So from here. So we draw this line like this. And then so then I'm going to so the length of the square is also 30 so i will take from this point here i will take 15 millimeters to the left side and 15 millimeters to the right side also on this line i will take 30 millimeters up 30 millimeters from this point i will take 30 millimeters so this is 30 millimeters okay so then i'm going to draw a vertical line so we draw a vertical line here, like this, and here we also draw a vertical line. Then at this point, I will draw a line, so in this direction. Okay, so then because of the thickness of this, so we need to we'll be able to see the other part of the square or the square hole. So that means I need to draw a line from this point here so we draw a line inward from this point and we take 10 millimeters we take 10 millimeters as the thickness of this is 10 so we also take 10 and this is 10 millimeters so then i'm going to transfer so this line so i'll make it a thick line at once so i'm going to transfer this point so we draw it to meet this and then at this point so we draw a vertical line Okay, so that will enable us to see the other point of the hole. So that is what we have done here now. Okay. All right. So that's what we have here. So let's get that, that of the rectangular hole that we have down here. So we have to take 10 millimeters from this point forward. 10 millimeters forward. So this is 10 millimeters here. So then I'm going to... So the thickness the, the 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 width of the square of the rectangular hole is also 10 so we have 10 okay so i need to i'll draw this line so from here so i'll draw this line in this direction and we also draw this line in this direction so the length of the square hole is 20 so i'll just come to this point and take 10 millimeters to the left side 10 millimeters to the right side then i'm going to i'll draw uh, this line so we draw this line so to make this line so i'll make it a thick line at once we draw from here to here and we also draw from 
here to here. All right, so to show that this thing is a hole, so I need to draw a vertical line. So I need to draw a vertical line down here, like this. So are we, uh, 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 we cannot see the other part of the hole. Can't see the other part of the hole for in this case. So that means I need to make this line. So I need to make it a thick line at once. So we have what we have this line. Okay, so all right, so we are done. So what you just need to do is to bring out the feasible outlines and edges of this isometric view of the block. So I pause the video and do that. When I'm done, you see how it will look uh, as uh, uh, as usual. Okay, all right, this is the isometric block. This is how it's supposed to be. It's as simple as I've done it here. All you need to do is to practice. When you practice this, you become a master at it. Thank you, and God bless you.